Welcome to the GFIBS Pre-Award Validation Checks and Processes Training video. The new functionality with the Standard Procurement System PD2-SR15A to validate GFIBS data prior to contract or modification release is available. The features will help prevent issues with data mismatch and allow problems to be corrected prior to release of document. We will refer to these as SPS and or PD2 as applicable throughout the video. The validation process sends draft award mod data to GFIBS to validate that data against the data in the associated GFIBS purchase requisition and or purchase order. The validation process begins when a user adds the SPS PD2 approval sheet to the award mod document entitled Pre-Award Validation Approval and approves the document. All documents should be sent through this GFIBS pre-award process. This graphic shows the GFIBS SPS PD2 pre-award validation process. The flow chart depicts the process flow within SPS. The system is designed to allow for checks as the documents progress from purchase requisition to award. The GFIBS pre-award validation can be used for solicitations, amendments to solicitations, awards, and modification to awards. The following section will provide you with the visuals of how to do pre-award. To add the pre-award validation approval sheet to the award document, you will select the document, then click approvals. This approves the document and adds the approval sheet. The GFIBS pre-award check is the last action that should be taken prior to forwarding to the contracting officer for signature. Maximum time between the validation check completion and the contracting officer signing the action is four hours. Select Approved from the Approvals Types drop-down menu. The Approved checkbox in the upper right corner is checked after selecting Approved from the Approval Types drop-down menu. Then click OK. Be patient at this stage. The system will not give you any indication that it is processing your action. It could take as little as a minute and a half or as long as 30 minutes. Normally we end up waiting about 10 minutes. Be warned, do not hit refresh. You will also note that there are times when the response time is less. A sticky note is added to the document. To view the sticky note, simply click the document. This is what a sticky note looks like. It contains error text, GFIB's point of contact information, and a host of additional information that you may find useful. There are three result categories. We will look at each one individually. This charge provides you with a comprehensive look at the category, what it means to you, and what impact it will have on your ability and what impact it will have on your ability to release your award.